What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a couple cars here today that uh, we're working on with some new sponsors and some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of a walk around of what we're doing in the car and uh, what we have currently to work with and how we're gonna make the overall vision of that car turn into the concept that we designed and came up with uh, for this racer. So let's take a look and see what we're working with. This is a Pro XP that one of the cars that they got dropped off that we're doing here, all the plastics are black. So we'll show you guys how that ties in to the existing blue with the black. Uh, and then we have an RS1 here, same thing, but it doesn't have as much blue in the back. So we're gonna end up have to print out some graphics to kind of tie that together. And then this is a Turbo S race car for the same uh, scheme and this back has blue. So I'll show you guys how that's gonna tie in together right now. So we'd have the cars pulled out normally and kind of go over this stuff outside, but today's super windy. So uh, we'll show you guys here the concept of what everything's gonna look like. So we have black up front here and then the, the uh, blue in the back. So the door graphics gonna have logos included with the striping to continue from uh, the black paint up here onto the side. Uh, so we'll kind of show you guys how we lay everything out as far as where the logos go. And uh, at the end of the day, it's gonna look just like this concept and look like a complete wrap. So here it is, two of the cars here like we're explaining where a lot of this is black up front and then we're utilizing some of the paint and graphics to make to get it to look more like a full wrap but same thing up here in the front. So we use the existing paint color black and then we put graphics over the top and it gives it a full wrap look. The main thing is to show the design and make it look exactly like the rendering. So uh, with the painted plastics being up here in front, it looks more custom. So there's a little bit of, uh, of that car and then this car here, same thing. So this is all painted up front and then we wrap the doors to match. So this way it ties those uh, colors in the graphics and stuff and looks complete. And then we wrap back here because I don't know if you guys remember, but the back of this RS1 was all black. The whole car was black. So we wrap this blue to match and make it look like the cars that were painted. So two down, two done. And uh, we're finishing up the third one now. So we'll show you guys that one when it's done as well the next day yeah so we're on the way to go pick up some wheels for the drift car and some other parts that we've got powder coated gloss black we'll be able to finish that thing and put it on the ground and put the new wheels on it and stuff so it looks cool i don't know if you guys seen any of the clips from the youtube or instagram of the drift and burnout stuff but it seemed to get some traction so i think you guys like it this is the fun part trying to put it all in there and not scratch it all I think it would be cool because the blue is going to look cool on black and it's just going to look pretty mean. But moment of truth, we're about to find out. I'm not scratching them in the process. is another cool thing. I know, a lot of people like matte black, but I don't know, I'm a gloss black person. I, I just think it looks more custom. You can do matte black on anything and it looks stock. Do the... Yeah. Drop it. Drop it right now. I mean, if you do drop them, that's like 10,000 views for sure. Oh, at least. Oh, for sure. Yeah, right? Fucking bar viral real quick. <laughs> and you're like, oh, the camera's not recording. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if you see it too, it has some sparkle blue in it too. Hell yeah. So the black, we're full race mode right now. Like you said, the goal is to not scratch it. <laughs> at least you get a visual. Damn. Yeah. Until on this side. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Oh yeah, that's clean. What do you think? Oh, I think it looks pretty badass, that's for sure. Definitely gonna be different than how it looked before, which is what we're going for. One down, three to go. Got a couple of projects we're working on. We got this bike over here that we're gonna be doing a pretty much a full wrap on and stripe kit. We'll show you guys a little bit of uh, the mock up of what it's gonna look like. So that should be kind of cool. We don't do too many bikes anymore, but we did when we first started, but it's kind of cool to go back and do a bike and do something cool. So, and um, this project came in, it was actually fully painted 
and then we ended up doing a full wrap on it. And actually, we did a sides first, and then uh, customer actually had a little fender bender, a little rollover, so we ended up doing the whole thing black. So that just got finished right now. As you can see, the whole top's all black. Um, this is printed digital, and then we just wrapped everything black on top, so the scoops and, and all that good stuff. A little different project that we're doing, just some basic stickers and some decal stuff that we do sometimes too, not necessarily a full wrap, but kind of a cool project. It's got a, got a little small walk in it, so pretty cool little car. The YXZ is kind of a, a little bit of a pain. There's so many angles and stuff on there, and it's not really a desired UTV as much anymore, but we still do them, so doing some YXZ stuff here. Uh, let's go take a look, see what this thing looks like next to the car. Damn. Sounds pretty sick. So yeah, I think that's gonna look sick. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, we've been posting on a different channel, but it's our drift car, so it's got handbrake in it. We're doing some other stuff too. We got shocks and everything. Uh, putting this exhaust we got from Evo Power Sports. It's got cutout, electric cutout in it. Um, should be some pretty cool stuff. We've been drifting with it. Car works pretty well, so. And it's got a tune and stuff on there too. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen any content on this car, go check out my personal channel. So that's the end of the vlog. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of stuff coming. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.